Hey there. Uh, today we're going to learn how to find uh, one of the missing side lengths of a rectangular square when given the perimeter of that rectangular square uh, along with another side length. Uh, so in this example we have a rectangle and we're going to say that the perimeter of this rectangle is equal to 78 inches all the way around. And what I know about the perimeter is that that 78 uh, has to have be the combined total of all the sides of this rectangle. Uh, so we're also going to know what the length of this rectangle is. And in this case, we'll say that the length is 25 inches. Uh, but what we're going to try and find out is what is the width equal to? Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to do uh, some reverse subtraction steps. So uh, if I know that this length right here is equal to 25, that means that this length down here also has to be equal to 25 inches. Uh, and if we don't know what this width is, then we also don't know what this width is over here. So we're really trying to find um, two different sides, but we can do that by finding just the one width. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of my side lengths and I'm going to subtract them from the perimeter formula that I have. So in this case I have 78 inches and if I subtracted 25 and 25 uh, I would be subtracting 50 inches off of the perimeter. So 8 minus 0 is 8 and 7 minus 5 is 2. So I know that the remaining two lengths have to equal up to 28 inches. Now that's not the answer to one to one of my missing sides. Because remember, if this was 28, this would also have to be 28. And 28 plus 28 plus 25 plus 25 would be greater than 78 inches. So in order to find what just one of the side lengths is going to be, I need to take what's left over and I'm going to divide it by two. Because that's going to give me uh, just half of this total, which would give me the length of one side. So I take 28 and I divide it in half by 2. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 8 four times. So I would see that one of my side lengths would have to be 14, which means that this side length would also be 14, so that I find my width is equal to 14 inches. Now, if I wanted to check that, all I'd have to do is re-add all of these together uh, to see that they equal up to 78. And if I did that over here, uh, I do see that 25 plus 25 is still 50, and 14 plus 14 is going to be 28. And when I add those together, I still end up with my perimeter of 78 inches. Let's try another example. In this example, we are given a perimeter of 110 meters, and we are giving a side length of 30 meters. Uh, so again, I know that if this is 30 over here, this also has to be 30 over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in those because I know them. Uh, but what I don't know is my length uh, up here or up here. So that's what I'm going to try and find out. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first subtract both of my side lengths that I am given from my total perimeter. So my total perimeter was 110 meters. I'm going to subtract 30 and I'm going to subtract 30. So that would give me a total of 60 that I'm subtracting. 0 minus 0 is, of course, 0. And then 11 minus 6 is going to leave me off with 5. So I know that my two lengths have to equal together to equal 50. But in order to find just the length of one side, uh, I need to divide 50 in half by 2. So 2 goes into 5 two times with one left over. And 2 goes into 10 five times. Uh, with nothing left over. So I see that the length of uh, one of my sides is going to be 25 meters. So 
Let's do one more example. In this example, our perimeter is set at 432 yards. And the length of one side is 75 yards. So again, I know that if this is 75, this must also be 75. What I'm really trying to find are these two lengths over here, or the widths. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to subtract from my total perimeter, which is 432. I'm going to subtract 75 and 75. Uh, so before I subtract these two, I'm going to add these two uh, to make it a little bit easier um, subtraction. 75 plus 75 is going to end up giving me 150. So 150 taken from 432. 2 minus 0 is 2. Uh, 3 minus 5 I can't do. I need to regroup. Uh, 13 minus 5 would leave me with 8. And then 3 minus 1 would leave me with 2. Uh, but again, this isn't the length of one side. Uh, this is the length of both sides. Uh, so in order to find just one side, I need to take this and divide it by 2. And these are all even numbers, so they'll go in evenly. 2 goes into 2 one time with nothing left over. 2 goes into 8 four times with nothing left over. And 2 goes into 2 <clears throat> one time with nothing left over. So my missing length is going to be 141 yards.